Hello, everybody. This is me, Pink Star Gamer sixty six, and today is a brand new Minecraft video. And today I am back on my computer playing Minecraft. I haven't made a YouTube video for so long, so really excited here. So today I'm going to be showing you a few awesome commands. Commands are basically used. Some people use them for what do you call it? Adventure maps. Some people use them for anything they want <laughs> because they want to. So, um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get yourself a command block. So, some of these commands don't need command blocks. Some of them do. So, the one I'm going to show you now needs a command block. So, what you do is um, the first thing that you want to make sure of is you want to go to your options or settings. And you want to go to chat settings and make sure that um, the commands are shown that you can do commands. The second thing that you want to do is you want to press whatever button you use to get commands that you want to do. Slash give your username, mine is PinkStarGamer, command, and then you can press tab and it will automatically go to Minecraft colon command block. So you want to do slash give PinkStarGamer, Minecraft colon, and then command underscore block. And like I said, you can just press tab. Then you want to press enter and you'll get the command block right here. The beautiful command block. Does a lot of wonders in your world. So I'm going to show you a few of the simple a few of, of the simple commands. So the first command is that is the um what do you call it? Slash say command. So um the slash say command is basically when the um, you can get a command block to say something. So if you go slash say, and then whatever you want it to say. So I'm going to say hello. Okay. So then you want to get a button or whatever you want to power your command block with. Get that button. Put it next to the command block. Press it, and it says hello. So people use this for maps like um, villagers. Like if you put a villager right here. And then, like, you step on a pressure plate, and the command block's underneath it. The villager can, like, say something like, get me a slime right here, okay? So, <laughs> stuff like that. So, the next command I'm going to show you does not need a command block. All you need is your chat. So, what you want to do is you want to do slash. I'm going to do... I'm going to um, show you how to get an item that some people use for adventure maps. So, you want to do slash give. Slash give is very important. That is how you get any item that you want. So if you do slash give right there, um, you can do slash give anything you want and it will give it to you. So that's mainly the command that you need for to get something. So slash give your username and I'm going to show you how to get the structure void. So this is not an object that is in your inventory. Um, if you go into your inventory on computer, it won't be there, neither will be the regular void block, neither will be the structure block, which I'll show you all three of these to get. Um, this is basically something, so if you press enter, you'll see the new green block that I have in my inventory here. So this is like void blocks, if you place it down, it is invisible. I have a block here, but it's just invisible. So if I go right here, I'm highlighting something, very hard to see in the video, but I am highlighting something right here. And it's a small block. It's not the same size as all these blocks, as all the regular blocks. It's a small little cube. So right now, I'm not sure what that's used for. I just um, wanted to show you that command. <laughs> the second one I'm going to show you is the regular void. So you want to do slash give your username void underscore block. Wait, what? Okay, um, actually, I'll just show you the structure block first. <laughs> okay, so the, to get the structure block, you want to do slash give your username, hopefully this works, structure block, I believe it is. There we go, so you, I got it. So let me show you that again. You want to do slash give your username, structure underscore block and then you'll get a structure block so if you place these down they look really cool and on top of them it says data so this is basically how you can 
save your structures. So if you right click on it, then this will come up. So it says custom data tag name. And so um, say I just name it command. Okay. And I press done and then it says data command. That doesn't do anything. Well, not that I know of. So now if you go down here, it has like a D. And if you press that, it will change to S. And that changes it to the save mode. So you can do the structure name, do all this. It says relative position, structure size. I'm sure that's like coordinates or something. Um, show invisible blocks. So it tells you all this stuff in order to save your world. It's like, um, like save that build that you built. And if you change it, then there's, you change it one more time, right click on it. No, left click on the um, S, then it changes to L, and that's load mode. So you can load it from a file that you saved. And if you click it one more time, it goes to C, and that is the corner mode. So the placement and size marker. So this is like command. <laughs> I'm just going to put command again. And so now it changed. Instead of data, it says corner, and then it says command. If you switch it one more time, it goes back to the data tab. So that's just a cool block right now. Same thing. I don't really know what it's used for, but um, if you look it up, Minecraft Wiki, whichever app you go to to look up Minecraft stuff, you probably find it there, and then um, you'll know how to get it. For some reason, um, I can't figure out how to get the void block. It, um, is it just void? Let me see this. Um, oopsies. Sorry, guys. And slash give my name void. Does that work? That's not, okay, that doesn't work. So, now I'm going to show you another command that you probably want to know. So this is how to turn it to day. So um, I'm actually just going to do it in my chat. You can do it on the command block like I did for my map. If you saw it, um, the wooling creeper map that I made, um, I used the command block. But you can do slash set time zero, I believe it is. What? <laughs> slash set zero? No? No? You know what I mean. So I set time day. Remember you can just do day? It's not working. Hmm. Well, uh, this is kind of embarrassing. Well, um, there's a command like that. Uh, so, now I'm going to show you some uses for these commands. So, if I get some, any block... I get a villager, and then I just go like this. So, I'm going to build a little thing for my villager, and go like that, go like this. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place my villager inside. So, this is the same thing that I did for my adventure map that I made. So. If I get my command block, I place it right here. I do slash say, I want to do slash say, hello. Um, hello, hello, get a camel. <laughs> okay, no, it's not a camel. Um, llama, but whatever. Okay, so, and then if I just cover that up, and then I get a button. I'm going to wait for that to fade away. Fade, okay. And then I press that button, then it says, hello, get me a camel. So that's basically something. Um, this I want to try that slash set today command. Slash set time day. It's not working. It's supposed to work. Slash. Was it not slash set? Oh, one thing that you can do is if you just type in your chat slash help, and then you say, then it tells you all the different commands that you can do. Slash achievement, slash block data, slash clear, slash clone, slash debug, slash default game mode. Oh, okay. So, I will show you how to get a new game mode. <laughs> I just learned this from here right now. Uh, there's some zombies here. So, I guess I should do difficulty then. So, to get to change your difficulty, you can do slash... Diff 
difficulty. Okay, so slash difficulty. And then you want to do the game mode. So, I mean, you want to do the new difficulty. So, slash difficulty, say I want it on peaceful. Make sure you spell it correctly. And then the difficulty is on peaceful. So now there's no zombies anymore. Wonderful. That's what I want. <laughs> so, how you change the game mode is you do slash D default. <laughs> I'm looking on the thing right now. Default game mode. So you would do slash default game mode and then new game mode. So I want it to be survival. Oh, oh, I spelled it wrong. Tell you guys it's not spelled wrong. <laughs> slash. Um, so this is the last thing I'm going to show you. Um, difficulty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> difficulty. Default, default, I'm spelling everything wrong here, default game mode, and I do survival, and I spelled right, default game mode, okay, well, um, I guess it's just game mode, slash, I'm gonna get this right, slash, game mode, survival there we go so a slash game mode and then whichever game mode you want so now I'm in survival mode you can do a slash game mode on computer there's a mode called hardcore what well that doesn't work but survival works so this is Pinkstar Gamer 66 I'll see you later bye